Good morning viewers. Welcome again to the Smart Learning French Language class. Today's topic is a very important topic of the French grammar, passé composé. In today's class, I'll be discussing the total concept of passé composé, how to form it, the passé composé in French grammar, and how to implement passé composé in writing sentences in French language correctly. Before starting today's lesson, I'll be requesting once again to all of my viewers, friends and students to subscribe the channel Smart Learning so that all the lessons uploaded in the channel, you can get it fast. I also request all of my viewers, friends and students to like and share the video lessons uploaded in the channel so that one like and share will encourage me to work hard for the next lesson. I also thank to all of my subscribers who have already subscribed the channel Smart Learning. Let's start today's topic, Passé Composé. Thank you. Let's start today's topic, Passé Composé. Passé Composé, actually in French grammar, is expressing, Passé Composé is expressing the past, past in French, past, and as compared to English, it expresses Perfect tense and simple past. And simple past in English. Understand? Passé composé is a tense, is expressing past and as compared to English, it expresses perfect tense and simple past. I am giving you one example. Please take down in your copy. I am going on. Simple past or perfect means say this type if i give you english meaning that is i do is a simple present tense i do but in perfect tense in french it will be i have done passe compose i have done or i did this is simple past and this is perfect. This is perfect and this is simple past in English. So to express this type of expression, passé composé is used in French. Okay, say I have done, I did this type. I do is present, say present. Whenever we want to express something in as a perfect tense or simple past, which are we used, uh, which we use in English, and passé composé is used in French to express this, that is perfect tense and also the simple past. Okay, this is the main thing. I think it is clear. If you have any doubt, you can give it in uh, comment of the video. I will be explaining. Now, please take down in your copy. I will be showing you how to form the passé composé. In French grammar, passé composé is formed in two sets of classifications are there. We classify all the verbs in two categories. One, 
with movement, one without movement, and other category, one with movement. That means without movement, that is, you are not moving from one place to another place. In that case, one classification and another classification, these are the classification of verbs, French verbs, and another classification is one with, without and with movement. That means these verbs which are expressing, that is from, you are moving from one place to another place. Okay, this is the one place and this is the place two. You are moving from one place to place two. This is called verbs with movement. So we classify all French verbs in two categories or two classification, one with out movement and one with movement. In present class, that is in today's class, I will be explaining only the verbs without movement. Okay, how to make the passe composé or how to implement it uh, in French grammar of the verbs without movement. I will be explaining in today's class. Okay. And with movement verbs I will be explaining in another class. On today's class our topic is only passe composé without movement. So first I am taking the uh, rule, I am uh, giving you the rule. First rule is without movement, the subject pronoun, how to conjugate? Subject pronoun, subject pronoun plus present, do verb. Presadu verb avoir plus participe passe of the verb concerned. That means subject pronoun you are taking as it is the eight subject pronouns are there. I have already explained in other video lessons. Jo, tu, il, el, nu, bhu, ils, il and e, l, l, e, s. That is l, plural. Okay. These subject pronouns are common in passe composé also. The what you are taking, first you are taking subject pronoun. Then you are taking presadu verb avoir for without movement verb. You are taking presadu verb avoir, avoir verb, that is the present of the avoir verb. Okay. And plus particip passe of the verb concerned. That is the particip passe of the verb of which the passe composé you are forming, the main verb, verb concerned. Okay. So, I will be giving you one example, it will be more clear. This is the rule. Please take down in your copy and I am showing you one by one example. Now, first I am taking the two basic verbs of the French language. One is etre and other is avoir. Etre. Etre is to be verb. To be verb. So how I will conjugate the verb etre in passe composé? I am showing you in details. First I am taking the subject pronoun, then the present of the verb avoir as per rule means je. And participe passe of the verb etre. The participe passé, that is PP of the verb etre is, we call, call it PP, that is in brief PP, PP of the verb etre is ete, ete, ete is the PP of the verb, okay. 
तो व्हाट विल बी द कंजुगेशन जे एते जे एते इट इज द टोटल कंजुगेशन ऑफ द वर्ब एत्र जे एते तू सिमिलरली तू प्रेजेंट ऑफ द वर्ब आवर तू आ एते पार्टिसिप पास इज कॉमन इल और एल आ एते आई एम टेकिंग द प्रेजेंट ऑफ द आभवर नूज आभो एते भूज आभे एते इलजो एलजो एते ओके तो आई एम टेकिंग द present of the avoir in every case and i am adding the participle passive or pp of the verb concerned as the verb concerned verb is etre so i am taking the pp of the verb etre ete and i am putting it as per rules je ete tua ete ila ete ela ete but the meaning is if i uh, give you the meaning in english तो इंग्लिश मीनिंग विल बी जे एते दैट मीन्स एत्रे भार्व इज टू बी भार्व तो जे एते इफ आई से जे एते इट मीन्स आई वॉस आई वॉस ओके ओके और आई हैव बीन इफ यू मेक इट परफेक्ट टेंस इन इंग्लिश इट विल बी ऑल्सो सेम जे एते आई वॉज और आई हैव बीन ओके एंड सिमिलरली इट विल बी गोइंग ऑन आई एम नॉट रिपीटिंग तू आ एते यू ऑयर और यू हैव बीन भूज आभे एते मीन्स विथ रेस्पेक्ट यू ऑयर और यू हैव बीन इल जो एते मीन्स दे ऑयर और दे हैव बीन ओके नूज आभो एते मीन्स वी ऑयर और वी हैव बीन दिस टाइप ओके इला एते एला एते इज ऑल्सो सेम ही वॉज और शी वॉज और ही हैज बीन और शी हैज बीन ओके दैट्स ऑल फॉर द वर्ब एत्रे दिस इज द प्रोसीड्योर आई एम शोइंग यू एंड बी केयरफुल एंड केयरफुली पिक अप द रूल्स एंड ट्राई टू इम्प्लीमेंट इट करेक्टली वेन एवर यू आर राइटिंग द पास ए कंपोज ए इन फ्रेंच लैंग्वेज ओके so i am showing you one example of etre verb the passé composé one example i am showing you say for example je ete etudia the university that means english meaning is i was student of the university that means not at present i was or if you uh, make it in perfect tense that i have been the student of the university it is also the same thing je ete etudia do university okay am i clear that means passé composé expresses the simple past and also the perfect sense in english okay if you get the perfect tense and you want to translate it in french you can use passé composé and in pure past whenever you are getting you can also use the passé composé now i am taking another verb this is also a basic verbs i etre we have completed now another important verb is avoir avoir means to have okay to have so first of all this rule is 
uh, it is clear, I think, from the first one, that every verb to form the passe composé, you have to know the pp, pp of the uh, that verb. So this is the our verb. Now pp is our verb pp, pp is u, u is pp for our verb. Okay. Then now the same rule, je, u, je, u, tu a, u, il, el, a, u, nus, abho, u. These are the passe composé of the our verb. First I am taking our verb present, then I am using participle passe. So je u means I ha I had or I have had. Okay. English meaning is I had or I have had. Perfect. Okay. And similarly the other conjugation, say nu, now bhu, ave, u. You had or you have, you have been, you uh, have had. Okay. Sorry, you have had. Il or L Zon U That means they had or they have had. This is the total conjugation. Now, if you want to uh, get an example of the avar verb, you please uh, take down in your copy. I am going on. I am uh, showing you one example of or how to implement it in writing a sentence. Okay. Nous avons eu win voiture Nous avons une voiture verte à Paris. This is a live example. We have had or we had a green car in Paris. That means when we were in Paris, then we had a green car, green color car. In voiture, vet means green color car. Okay. So we have applied the passe composé. Abho u. That is the avar verb. Present tense. Then as an auxiliary. These are called auxiliary. And then participle passe of the verb concerned. Okay. So these are the main thing. To implement the passe composé. And to form the passe composé. Now I will be showing you some other verbs. Actually, you have to remember the rule. You have to be attentive to pick up the rule that whenever you are forming the passe composé of any verb, that concerned verb, pp of that concerned verb, you have to know at first. So, I'll be giving you only the pp of some verbs and pass if you know the pp correctly, you can form the Passe composé at your own. This is the main thing. So, etre verb and avar verb, two verbs we have completed, the pp. Now, I am giving you the example of ER ending verb. Say, one verb is aime. Aime. Aime means to like or love. This is a ER ending verb. Okay. So, aime verb. Ear ending verb is a root verb, ear ending. Ear ending verb is very easy to make the passe composé. The pp of all ear ending verbs generally are a, i, m, e, aksat, agu. That is ear ending verb pp. That is you are erasing r the root from the root verb and you are putting 
Aksat agu, accent, ac acute accent on e. Okay. And other forms are I am not repeating in details. So what will be the passe composé of the verb eme? Je eme. Je eme means I loved or I have loved. Okay. Tu a similarly the same rule will be repeated. Tu a eme. Okay. You loved or you have loved or you have liked or you liked. Okay. So these are some examples. So if I give you one example, say, Je aime lo gato. Je aime lo gato. O chocola. I liked the chocolate cake. Gato o chocola. Okay. This is one example. This is one example. I liked the choc uh, like the chocolate cake. Je aime lo gato o chocola. This is a uh, live examples of the verb passe composé of the verb aime. Okay. Now. I am showing you some other verbs that is year ending. One example I am showing very common verb parle. P A R L E R parle to speak. So to speak. So parle the similar P P will be P A R L E. Then accent agu, acute accent. You are uh, cutting or erasing the end part R and you are putting the E. Um, uh, e with uh, uh, putting uh, acute accent on E. Accent agu. Okay. So what will be the passe composé? Je parle. This is the first form. So if I say je parle, this is the, if I say the English meaning. So I spoke. It may be simple past. I spoke. Okay, or it may be I have spoken. In both the cases, you can use passé composé. The same thing will be in French grammar. Je parle, I spoke, or I have spoken. Okay. Then now, an example. Je parle. O professor, je parle au professor. That means I spoke to the professor, or I have spoken to the professor. This is the example of the verb parle. Now, this is a regular verb. How to form it? The passé composé. First two verbs, what I have shown you in today's class, être un avoir. These are highly irregular verb, but whatever may be the verb, it is irregular verb or regular verb. Whatever may be the category, you have to, you must have to know the participle passé of the concerned verb. Then you can form the passé composé very comfortably and easily at your own. Okay. Now another category, year-ending category, I have completed all the year-ending verbs which are in regular category. You can. Make the passé composé as per the same rule. What I have explained already. Now I am showing you one example of IR category. That is finir verb. Finir, IR category. Okay, finir means to finish. Okay, finish. So how I have to uh, form the IR ending verb? That is PP will be. How the PP participle passé F I N I. This is the PP. Okay, F I N I. So you are 
erasing R. This is the PP is ready. Now your conjugation is J fini. I am not repeating total conjugation. One or two I am showing you. I have finished or I finished, whatever may be. I, English meaning I finished or I have finished. In both the cases, you can use the passe compose. I finished or I have finished. Okay. Now, please take down in your copy. I am going on. Now, I am giving you one live examples. L A Fini L A Fini Sadhuvar Ella Fini Sadhuvar. That means she has finished her homework. Ella Fini Sadhuvar. Okay, this is an example. She has finished or she finished. She finished her homework. This is the English meaning. Now, this is the year ending verb. That is the common year ending verb. Another uh, a not a, sorry, not year ending, I year ending verb. I am showing you now. Now, another I year ending this is the Shuazir. Shuazir verb. This is also same category. PP is C H O I S I. Shuazi. Shuazi is PP, your PP. Now, if you get the PP, your passe compose is ready. Nuzabho. For example, Nuzabho Shuazi. This is an example. Nuzabho Shuazi win robe rouge. Is an example. We choose, uh, we choose uh, a red color dress. Or we have chosen a red color dress. Okay, this is the example. Nuzabho Shwazi Windrobe Rouge. And the verbs which are of similar category, that is Fini, Shwazir, huh? Aplodir, another verb, Aplodir. Aplodir. Huh? This is uh, to uh, encourage somebody, upload it. Uh, this type of verbs are, all these verbs are, say, of similar category, say, to upload. Uh, this type of verb are taking the same rule, that is, PP is APP. L A U D I this is the PP. Now you can form the uh, passe compose at your own, the same procedure. Okay. But verbs are categorically uh, belong to the same group. They are following the same rule for the making of PP. Okay. Now the next example is in regular category, RE ending verb. That is, for example, Atandro. Atandro to here. To here. PP is E-N-T-E-N-D-U. Atandu. Atandu is PP. Okay. E N T E N D U. Atadu is PP. Now, if PP is ready, you can easily form the uh, verb. You can easily form the uh, passe compose. For example, je atadu. La. Music.
j'ai entendu la musique. I, uh, hear, that is, I uh, did hear past tense, or I have heard, I have heard, j'ai entendu la musique. Okay. I heard, I heard or I have heard, or I did hear, j'ai entendu la musique. That is, I have heard the music, or I heard the music. This is the passé composé. Attendu. And similar verb, uh, say, another verb, uh, the verbs which are in similar category, that is a re ending, but uh, in root verb, but in similar category, is another verb is repondro. I am giving you one example. Ari ending category, repondro, R-E-P-O-N-D-R-E, repondro. Repondro means to respond, respond, is a repondro. The PP is the same category, that is repondu, repondu is PP. Okay, if I say, uh, je repondu, La lettre. That means I replied or I responded the letter. The letter came, which came uh, yesterday or uh, previously, I have responded to that letter or I replied to that letter. Je répondu la lettre. Okay. Is the I have responded or I responded the letter. The letter came that I responded or replied. This is the meaning. So these three categories, that is year ending, IR ending and RE ending, these are regular category. And they are following the same rule for to make their PP and they are making the same rule and they are following the same rule for making the passe compose. Okay. But now I am, uh, in previous video, I have explained some uh, verbs of present uh, Prezadu Ledikati, that is Prezadu Ledikati, that is Ledikati Preza, I uh, discussed in previous class or previous video lesson. Out of that some verbs, I will be giving you the PP, I uh, will be giving you in this class, so that you can form the passe compose of those verbs. In the previous list, in the previous video, who have not seen the previous video, please see the previous video. Huh, that will be clear. In previous video, the first verb was, I am giving you the PP so that you can form the passe composé at your own. In previous video, the first verb was in previous list, ekrir. Ekrir. This is re ending verb, ekrir. Okay. Ekrir verb, the PP is, in this side I am showing you the PP. Ekrir verb, root verb, this is root verb, to write. PP is ekri. Ekri is PP. Okay. So, if you uh, form the passe compose, that is, I wrote or I have written, je ekri. This is the form. Okay. I am not repeating all the verbs, I am giving you just the PP, so that you can conjugate the passe composé at your own. And if you have any doubt, you can give it in comment of the video. Okay. Now the next verb, MA, I have shown in the previous list, MA I have already sh uh, shown you, ETRE was in the previous list, I have already shown. But uh, next verb is boar. Boar. This is re ending verb, but this is not in this uh, previous category. That is repondro, atandro, I have shown, already shown. Boar verb to drink something. But the pp is boo. Boo. Boo is pp. Okay. That is I drank or I have drunk something. That is uh, boo. Je boo. Je this type of expression, je bu, okay, this is the past tense, je bu, okay. So, I am not repeating all the verbs, I am giving you all, uh, only the pp, so that you can conjugate at your own. Next verb is 
prandro it is also irregular category prandro prandro means to take prandro to take something to prandro pp is pre pre it is not similar to repondro or atandro okay though it is re ending although although it is re ending but it is not following the same rule prandro pre this video will be long video but please uh, see the total video i request you request you all of you uh, to see the total video without skipping so that you can learn something from this video how to conjugate the passive composite prandro passive composite will be clear from this video that is prandro then the verb in our previous list was ale ale i am not showing in this class because ale is a movement oriented i'll be doing a uh, movement for movement oriented verbs i'll be doing another class so in that class i'll be showing you ale how to make the passive composite of ale next verb is finir from the list finir i have already shown you in today's class lir next verb is lir lir is also re ending but it is irregular category lir lir means to read to read the book read the story okay lir lir is lu lu is the pp l u lu lu is the passive composite that means if i say nu jabho nu jabho lu lu nu jabho lu uh, nu jabho lu uh, un istoar se that means uh, nu jabho lu un istoar means we have uh we have read or we read a story okay nuzabu lu is the past tense lir verb okay now i am not going for details now the dir verb another verb of the previous category which i discussed the list of verbs in the previous video lesson then next verb is dir d i r e dir dir the p p is d i t d d is p p okay dir verb dir means to say say okay if i say say il a example il a di il a di la verite il a di la verite that means he uh, said the truth or he has said the truth okay this is the passive composite of the verb say avoir of the present and pp of the concerned verb okay dir now the next verb is aprandro a p p these are from previous list aprandro this is though it is re ending although it is re ending but it is not following the same rule apri apri is the pp a p p r i s apri okay aprandro means to learn next uh, verb is aste 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 means to buy or to purchase something it is year ending so there will be no problem you are cancelling or erasing the end point r and putting accent uh, acute accent or aksant agu on e and the last verb was the previous list in the previous video it was shwazir shwazir i have already given you in today's class shwazir shwazir in the category it belongs to the same category of finir so there will be no problem to conjugate it a hey, to get the pp shwazi shwazi is the pp okay i have already shown some examples that's all for today's class in the next class i'll be coming with a next grammatical topic in next video lessons till then goodbye thank you for watching the video